комик уебал наш КАМАЗ. Хуёво комики работают. Буквально минут 10 назад. Слава Богу, без происшествий. Все живы здоровы. Да, пострадавших нету, слава Богу. Бля, там бак точно не ебанет? Не должен. Бабки-то были, скорее всего, он уже въебал. Я все полностью хуярил. А может колеса въебывали? Да колеса хер с ним. Нет, хлопки что были. Да, как-то вот так. The 35th and 36th Marine Brigades of Ukraine continue to destroy Russian special forces near the islands of Zabek and Bolshoi Potomkinsky in the Kherson region. Screenshots show the defeat of units of the 127th Reconnaissance Brigade and the 10th Special Forces Brigade of Russians carrying out the task of landing on these islands to capture positions, identify and destroy observation posts of Ukrainian forces, and then hold these positions until the arrival of infantry units. Ukrainian soldiers destroy special forces during landing on the islands. The destruction of the occupiers' boats prevents the possibility of their evacuation and repeated action for a long time. So, it helps our units counterattack on the islands. Dozens of boats of the occupiers have already been destroyed. Ukraine's National Resistance Center has reported that the Russians have banned local residents from entering a 15-kilometer zone along the Dnipro River in the temporarily occupied territories of Kherson Oblast. The order was published on behalf of Vladimir Saldo, the Russian puppet local governor. It comes into force on August 1 in the Kakovka district and on September 1 along the entire left bank of Kherson Oblast, National Resistance Center said. National Resistance Center added that, according to the order, entry is only possible with a special permit from the Russians. The NRC also noted that the Russians previously deported local residents from most of the occupied settlements in the designated zone. Recall, the Special Operations Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine destroyed 15 boats of Russian invaders in the Kherson region. The operators of the 73rd Maritime Center of the Special Forces continue to destroy the enemy in the Kherson direction, the report says. While conducting reconnaissance, our warriors discovered 15 Russian boats of various types. Drones with a drop system were used to target the enemy boats. None of them will transport Russian military anymore, the Special Operations Forces said. As reported, the Special Operations Forces hit the newest Russian communication station. Ukraine has inflicted significant damage on the Russian Black Sea Fleet, wrecking many Russian vessels in over two years of war. Since Moscow launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the Ukrainians have destroyed or damaged roughly half of the Russian fleet's warships, including one submarine, per publicly available information. Without warships of its own, Ukrainian forces have relied on unmanned maritime drones and long-range anti-ship missiles to hammer Russia's naval forces.
Dmitro Pledenchuk, a spokesman for the naval forces of the armed forces of Ukraine, said in a public statement in February that the Russian Navy had about 80 warships at the outset of the war, including large warships, landing ships, submarines, patrol boats, and minesweepers. Several Russian ships that Ukraine claimed to have destroyed have yet to be fully identified, but reportedly among them are Raptor-class patrol boats, a BK-16 high-speed assault boat, Cerna-class and Akula-class landing craft, and a Stenka-class patrol vessel.